Hey, welcome back. And hey, John, did you know that the tallest building in Philadelphia is the library? Is it? Yeah, because it has so many stories. And so does John Kensel. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a segment we call John Kensel Stories. Kensel Culture, Puppets, Props, Puns, Podcasts. I have a friend. Um, yeah. All right. I, I, now, now I don't believe it. I have a friend named Al. All right. No last names will be used in the recording of this story. And the Al. name hasn't been changed yes. to protect the innocent. He's a milkman in New Jersey. Wow. And it's not like the milkman from the 40s wearing like white hats and, hey, here you go, ladies, here's your six pack of milk. See, they're giving 100%, but most milkmen give only 2%. Yes, this is true. Well... Um, Al's a milkman, and he delivers to schools and stores uh, uh, late at night when no one's there, uh, all for New Jersey. Well, he was delivering milk in Gloucester City, New Jersey. Uh, beautiful Gloucester. Which is part of the next story. But, so it's 3 a.m. He delivers the milk to his uh, client, and he has a big giant truck, a refrigerator truck, filled with milk bottles in it. You know, milk bottles, con- uh, cases of milk containers. Okay? So he's in his truck. A gentleman in a wheelchair pull- pulls up and says, hey, can you give me a ride to the next town? And he goes, no. I have milk to deliver to the United States of America, and I can't be hindered by a man trying to get in my truck. Uh, and he goes, no. And the guy in the wheelchair keeps saying, this is a true story. Come on, please, come on, let me in, let me in, let me give, just give me a ride, give me a ride to the next town. And my friend Al says, no, I can't do it. So the guy leaps out of the wheelchair with, and grabs onto his mirror on his truck and goes, come on, he's banging on the, on the door, going, just give me a ride, man, give me a ride. Well, and it's re- re- relentless. And he's like, come on, Al, my friend Al's going, I can't, it's against policy. What if I get on an accident? You're not insured, it's a milk truck, it's not my truck, it's the company's truck, blah, blah, blah. The guy swings onto the hood of the truck. Oh, my goodness. And my friend Al said, the man had no legs. I go, well, that, I've seen people like that before. He goes, no, you don't understand. He had half a body. There was nothing from the hips down. And he hopped on the hood of my truck. And he goes, my truck's a high truck. It's a big rental, rider rental truck with the you know, refrigerator on the back. And he said, the guy started pulling on his windshield wiper blades, going, give me a ride. Come on. And the guy started pulling change and broken peanut shells and pistachios out of his pockets and was throwing against the windshield. Get out. He goes, give me a run. He said it was something out of a Twilight Zone, like the William Shatner episode. Wow. And he goes, it was the creepiest, craziest thing I've ever seen. And he goes, and he wouldn't stop. So he said, I called the local police on this phone. And he goes, there's a half a man in my hood won't get off and he's just wrecking my truck and he won't leave me alone. Well, the cops pulled up. As the cops pulled up behind him, mm-hmm. the guy sees the cops coming and like a jungle gym guy, he ran across the hood of the truck on his hands, grabbed onto the passenger mirror, and swung down like a half a gymnast, hopped out in the car, and he ran under the truck like something you'd see out of the movie Poltergeist on his hands. Or freaks. A freaks. It's, that's exactly right. The movie on his hands. Johnny right. Eck. Yes. And he runs under the truck. Well, meanwhile, the cops come up on the, the driver's side of the truck, and he said, officers, a crazy monster man was trying to attract to attack me uh, and get in my truck and wouldn't leave me alone. And the cops didn't believe him. So they looked under the truck with a flashlight, and here they found the guy hanging from his, like, rear axle. Oh, my right. goodness. And they grabbed the guy. and like they picked De Niro the, in, the, in that in, uh, movie. Cape Fear. Cape Fear. And they picked him up by his hands, uh, and they put him back in the wheelchair. And here, he was a local, uh, what do you call a local nuisance? Uh, a local guy who's always getting in trouble with the law. And here the cops... A village idiot. Yeah. Well, the cops knew the guy. Uh, he must have been... They, yeah. Somehow he was injured severely, uh, right? And uh, they, they told him, oh, we know this guy. That's old uh, Half and Half Jones or something like that. And they told my friend Al to go on his way. But I thought, boy, what a nightmare-inducing story that was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did it sour him on the milkman job? <laughs> I know. And... Uh, you're curdling now. Oh, good God. But no, uh, this is cancel uh, culture. Uh, it's yogurt. Oh, God. <laughs> I, that story is going out the pasture. 
Um, <laughs> and that's it for that's week, this week's story of Al the Milkman and the Half a Man. What a story.